everyone, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how to make these little 3 by 3 inch boxes. They have a little open up card, and this one I put in a little clear window so you can see what is actually on the inside. Um, you can do that if you want, or you can just leave it plain. And then there's also a little drawer that slides out. And yes, there was candy in there. I had made these for a wedding favor for a, a friend that was getting married. And um, my son, I believe, ate all the candy. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to make this box here today. First of all, you're going to um, need to get a 3 by 12 inch piece of paper. It can be any color, just cardstock would probably be best. Um, maybe that's got a little cut in it. We'll do another one. So again, that's 3 inches by 12 inches long. So just a strip of paper, just like this. And then you're also going to need a 4 and 7 eighths size piece of paper by 4 and 7 eighths. So basically a square. Okay. So now you have your square and you have your long piece. Let's work on the square first. If you have a scoreboard, you'll want to pull out your scoreboard and you're going to score the 4 by 7 8 by 4 by 7 8 piece of paper at 1 inch. Flip it. 1 inch flip it, one inch, flip it, and one inch. So now I don't know if you can see it, but you've got your score lines. Um, go ahead and set that aside. And next, you're going to score your long piece of paper. And you're going to score it at three inches, at four inches, at seven inches, at 8 inches and again at 11. So you've got 3, 4, 7, 8, and 11. Alright, so you can see those. Okay. So first we'll go ahead and work on the drawer. And that's what you use the 4, 7, 8 by 4 and 7, 8. And across this here, um, score line on one side you're just going to trim it straight up to the next score line so it's just a tiny little snip and you do that on the same side so you have two little snips there on that same side and you're going to flip it around so the snips are now on the side in front of you and you're going to snip those two on that side and that's all so you got those snipped now you want to take it you can take a bone folder if you have it, or you can just fold it. Crease up all those score lines that you just made. And you could have probably done this before you snipped it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now you have this here. Now I used my ATG gun, but my ATG gun is not working very well right now. So I'm going to use this. Uh, it's just a basic adhesive. Just um, put your adhesive on the little corners, literally fold it over, and you can fold this one over, and then you do the same on the other side. So, and I like to put my flaps on the inside of the box but I guess you can do it however you want. Okay, so now you have your little box. And we'll set that aside. Now, with this one, I did make it kind of fancy. I don't know if you can see this, but right here I actually um, ran it through the cuddle bug. So that front part is embossed. And let me show you. This is what it looks like without the top purple on it. It's just a plain embossed flap. So we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go ahead and emboss that. Pull out my cuddle bug here. 
All right, and I'm using the Provocraft Swirls plate, and we are going to use the very first square, not the end has a little one inch square there. We're just going to use the small one there. And you just stick it in the side, and then I just line it up with the score mark. Okay, so then you got to put it in there long ways because it's so long. And just run it through. Alright, so now we only have that top part right there scored. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, if you noticed here, I did cut out a little oval. And you don't have to cut out an oval if you don't want to. But if you would like to, I will show you how to do that. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to go through and I'm going to fold all these creases. Alright, so now you've got all the creases folded. So you can see, if you fold it over like this, we're at the start of our box. Now this is the side on the inside, so what we're going to do, this is the punch that I used, it's uh, Marvy, couldn't tell you what size it is, it's fairly large, um, I just stuck it in there, lined it up center to the two crease lines there as much as possible, and then punched it. So, um, next, we do have the little thank you. That thank you stamp I actually got, it's one of the Studio G from the dollar bin. Um, that's all I used. So, just, and you just lightly ink it up and there you go. We've got a thank you. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to um, you want to put your clear part into the little window. All right. So I'm going to attach this to the back, and is um, I'm going to cut it down a little bit more. I again, I just use the ATG gun, and I just taped all the way around the the hole there and it seemed to hold it just just nicely so then you just place it on there that ATG sticks it really good so now we have our thank you and um, now you will want to go ahead and put that together so go ahead and take some adhesive and uh, make sure you get it high on the line there. And we just fold it and line it up. All right, so now uh, we have our box. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, on this box, I actually rounded the corners. I just thought that was a little added. Um, touch. So I did use my corner chomper at a uh, quarter inch and I just took the each corner just put it in the center there. So you can do that or you can leave it square. It's completely up to you. And then um, you just take your little box and it just goes right inside there. And there you go. You have a cute little decorated box. I hope that you were able to catch all the directions. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.